Hey YouTubers, so today I've actually been putting this off for a while, but I plan to install my uh, inner and outer tie rod seals uh, on my BX here. It's a BX23S. They've actually been blown out for a minute as you can see, uh, actually both sides. And uh, I was scrolling online just trying to find some, you know, replacements. I was just going to go OEM with it. And then I came across, uh, and this is not sponsored at all, I just picked it up on eBay with this Boda products. Um, they got some, they call heavy duty ones, and it doesn't use the bellow style. It's just like a, a slip on, and then what they describe it as is a, like a windshield wiper. It'll just hug it real tight and keep any uh, debris and you know water out of the out of the joint itself. And they say you can just tuck your needle greaser in there and just squirt it, I guess. So I thought I'd give them a shot. Uh, I think this set was $40 and that's uh, both inner and outers for both sides. And uh, with the kit, they give you uh, just a little instruction sheet and a picture for the uh, inner tide rod there. So I thought I'd uh, Make a video of this and just show you how it goes. Uh, you're kind of going to be, you're kind of going to be, you know, coming along with me on it. It's my first time ever doing it on this thing. So yeah, I guess to start, uh, I got a jack out here. I got some grease that I can just kind of scoop on there. Uh, I got some picks and screwdrivers. I got a 22 millimeter. Uh, 12 millimeter and that's for the actual tie rod itself the adjustment screws and then uh for the castle on the tie rod here i i got 11 16 and that seems sloppy but uh 16 won't fit on it so we'll see about that when the time comes i just got some side cutters to help with the cotter pins and those uh castle nuts on there so yeah without further ado uh let's get into it So first thing I'm going to do again is uh, count how many threads we got showing here. We got one, two, three, four. Four threads showing. Break the lock nut. And spin this out. Take our lock nut off here. Use one of our picks to get underneath this hole down here. Alright, then we'll get underneath this clamp in the inner clamp. Oh, 
Pull that off. That one's junk. This one's got a bit of crud in there as well. So we'll clean all that out of there. Load it up with some grease here. Grab our new seal. Throw a little extra grease in there. Slip it right on there. Just like that. Push it on the rest of the way there. And uh, we'll put the thick o-ring or the thick washer on here because that's recommended. We'll use our 11 16 socket. To get it on here. Then we'll take our E clip, position that, and then clamp it down with the channel locks here. Of course, it's going to be a booger now. That side's done of there. So we'll pull out our cotter pin. Out that's out we'll pop off our clip here again I'm gonna be trying to be careful with this one just because I do plan on saving it as it has not blown yet so get our clip off there and I'll simply just slide it out and we'll save that bellow
clean up this one. Looks like maybe some water had gotten in on this one. Looks a little, a little dirty in here. Not so much debris, but just dirty grease. So probably not a bad thing that I'm doing these anyways. Same thing. We're gonna grease this all up. Grab our new bellow here. Throw my excess from now into there. Slip that on. There you go. It's ready to install back on. Put our castle nut back in there. We'll just line up our castle nut with a hole. Actually, I can't see one right now. Our new cotter pin here. Okay, so it's just got to go a little bit more. There we go. reconnect here suppose I should have just done it while it was off but I forgot oh almost forgot we need our lock nut don't forget that kind of get it close to our four threads and right about there
All right, what do we got here? We got one, two, three. So we're actually in a little bit here. Back that off. One, two, three, almost four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Lock her down. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful or informative, if nothing else. Please give the video a thumbs up if it helped you out or you enjoyed it. Comment if you have any questions on anything I did here. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on the BX tractor or anything I'm doing around here. Thank you for watching.